Hi guys, Carly Sink here. I've um, got the camera set up, so I'm going to step back here. Um, today I'm excited to bring my friend, um, and actually family now basically, yeah. um, Beth, <laughs> we do a lot of workshops together, um, Beth Blair. We're going to be talking and just kind of having a conversation around water imprinting. She and I have taught a couple of workshops together on the benefits of imprinting water with specific um, energies and frequencies and color and crystals. And we thought this would be a fun topic to um, put on my YouTube channel. So um, I'll let Beth kind of give a little introduction about herself and tell you what kind of um, things she's into. She's very talented, very knowledgeable. Yeah, so I've been a massage therapist, uh, energy practitioner for Oh, 12, 15 years, massage therapist for uh, 12 and energy for about 15. Uh, I do coaching. I'm an artist, as you can see behind me. This is some of my Beautiful. intuitive art. <laughs> uh, I love working with energy, crystals, uh, DNA, water, yeah. ceremony. Um, Carly and I have been bantering back and forth ideas that... I think bring a synergy to practicality of things that seem way out there, just bringing them home. And then, of course, Carly brings in the science of it. So I appreciate that. Um, and today we're just going to talk about the, the fun of ceremony of gritting water and imprinting water um, with crystals, with grids, with sunshine, moonshine, yeah. not moonshine alcohol, but moonshine. <laughs> Even better than like the traditional moonshine. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so yeah. Cool. Well, we'll get started. Um, so one of the reasons imprinting water can be so important is such an easy process for us to do. It's something that each of us hopefully um, partake in every day, drinking water. Um, and obviously we're not offering any medical advice with this. We're just offering up our personal experiences with it. That's so, right. um, when it, please, you know, drink at your own risk. <laughs> um, I always like to give little, um, precautions, but, uh, yeah, I guess it was about six months ago, Beth and I started playing around with, I've always been interested in water and thinking about, you know, water is something that hopefully we're drinking all day, every day. And um, oftentimes we just think about the uh, purity of the water in the form of, you know, is there fluoride in it? Are there different chemicals in it? Is it mineralized? I mean, there's so, there's so much information about water out there. But what I'm fascinated with is um, a whole field of science called bioenergetics and looking at how energy and information can be stored or transferred into water. Um, and then if you think about it, when you're drinking that water, it can actually have an, Im an imprinting per se on your cells or your own body's vibration. So it's not like we're adding minerals to the water or anything. We're just using tools out in nature right. to bring, um, an imprinting or frequency into the water or an intention, uh, to create a specific energy within what you're consuming throughout the day. Right. And part of the practice of imprinting water is through the ceremony that you create. So it brings you into a mindful awareness of setting up the grid, your intentionality, as you mentioned, you know, what are you thinking when you're, when you're setting up the, the crystals around the water um, the color of the bottle that you mm -hmm. put it in. What does it mean for you? What do you, what changes are you wanting in your life? What are you um, focusing on? Are you wanting to improve something like drinking more water? Simply the practice of drinking mm -hmm. more water. And that you know, for me, what I want the takeaway to be is that ceremony doesn't have to be so complicated. Right. Right. That I can live my life as ceremony and everything that I do. I do with intention so that by simply drinking the water, that is part of my ceremonial practice mm -hmm. as well. So, you know, the, the types of bottles that I use to imprint, you know, this bottle has been in my family for a number of years and I like the color of it. It's, it's a fancy decanter, mm -hmm. you know, and so that brings me to a mindset of, putting, placing it very carefully on the grid, yeah. right? 
So those are just some simple things that you can add to your, your practice of living, right? Yeah. Is living with intention, living mindfully in practices that I'm, I'm saying, I want my life to be enriched yeah. by the water that I'm drinking and the sunshine that goes into it, yeah. right? Absolutely, the imprinting. So, you know, how talk a little bit about how the sun yeah. does that. Well, so um, the sun moves through throughout the day a broad um, uh, parts of the spectrum. You know, typically we just see our bodies and everything around us is this dense 3D physical form, but really there's all kinds of waveforms that are around us that are both natural and unnatural. And so oftentimes, you know, when we're outside, we're getting infrared and UVA and UVB as a myriad of frequencies when we're outside. And so the sun acts like, um, a, imagine a, you're programming a CD and you, the um, light from the computer is programming the little CD-ROM. But when you're outside and you're, you can use sunlight in your grid, that's why I always like to capture the sunlight, um, you can set your crystals up and here in a little bit, we're going to walk outside and actually show one of the grids that Beth created earlier today. But the sun moves through whatever crystal or color is a vibration as well. Um, you can pick a color based on the chakra um, that you're looking to work on or uh, there's lots of different color charts online that you can find. So mm -hmm. if you're looking to say work on some digestion issues, you may work with um, citrine and, as a stone and then the color yellow. Um, so you could place your water on the, uh, the color yellow. And um, so the sun works on imprinting. But if you live in an apartment and can't get outside, ultimately it's your belief and your intention. Right. So going into it with that intention of uh, or creating, just like Beth was talking about, a ceremony around it. And just making that mental space to put your attention and intention into something. Yeah. And the, the key to um, practicality-wise is imprint with uh, putting the water in glass bottles, preferably not plastic. Yeah, yeah right? definitely. Um, because the glass adds a component mm -hmm. of, uh, and it's it's healthier. Oh, yeah, it's definitely healthier. Definitely healthier. Um, so part of the practice, so, so when we talk about gritting, yep. so gritting can be the pattern of the crystals that you put around, so, you know, sacred geometry, shapes, uh, spirals, squares, mm -hmm. triangular, you can uh, Google online different. Um, Let's see if we have, I've printed out a couple of little image, sacred geometry images. Sacred, yeah. Or Beth printed them out, actually. <laughs> so I'll hold these up close to the camera. Um, but you can see this flower of life. That's something that you could set your water on top of. Um, this one's really cool. It's kind of a little a bit more psychedelic. Um, and there is no right or wrong. Uh, whatever spe is speaking to you at that sp particular time. Uh, sacred geometry works above the level of the conscious mind. And so uh, if you're looking at something and there's something in your body that is attracted to it, um, maybe you play around with that for a couple of days. Right. And then the other thing, too, is so we laminate these because we're putting them out in the elements. But... <clears throat> you don't have to have them laminated to put out there. Yeah. You can simply write words or, you know, draw a picture um, on a piece of paper and you're putting it underneath um, the bottle of water. Mm -hmm. um, and you can, you can place the crystals on that as well. You can make a grid as big or as small. You can place the crystals on top of um, the lid of the water yeah. or um, we've been known to actually tape the crystals to yeah. the bottle. Um, but basically it's, it is back to intentionality of it Absolutely. as far as, um, and how long you leave it out, you know? Yeah. And it's a great thing to look at. Um, a lot, a lot, there's a lot of talk out on the interwebs about, and this is ancient, really ancient tradition, but uh, charging in certain uh, moon and solar cycles. So anytime there's a full moon, that's a great time. I mean, we charge mm -hmm. our water most days. Sometimes I forget and then I'm really sad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but whenever there's a full moon, right. or if there is a special... A um, new moon or solstice yep. or equinox or uh, Beltane was um, a festival that just happened um, 
at the uh, beginning of May. So, you know, there are different beliefs or, or uh, it could be a, you know, holiday that you have in your spiritual belief, that kind of thing. Um, but you want to leave it out for several hours um, to overnight. I have left water out as long as 24 hours. Yeah. Charging, getting both the sun and the moon. Mm -hmm. And cloud cover uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah. matter. Or, and, and, and if you're setting it out in the rain, you're getting the elements. Right. Um, or so, a windy day like today, yeah. we're getting the wind <laughs> for sure. Right. So we were going to film outside and we we're like, we better bring this inside. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, when we talk about the, speaking of the moon and the sun, you know, our bodies are, we are, I, there's all kinds of statistics, but I can't remember the exact percentage of what, I, I bet some of us are different percentages based on how much we actually drink, but our body is over 90% water. And so when you are drinking that water and it's going into your system or that, that vibration that you are, um, taking in especially if you've charged it with the crystals and the mm -hmm. color and the sacred geometry that just, I want you to just imagine that information pattern rippling through the rest of your body and raising your vibration. Uh, it can be so, uh, healing just as a, as that moment that you take out, it doesn't become, Oh my goodness, I have to drink 64 ounces of water today. It becomes, this is something that I've created for myself that is free. Right. And, and it's made just for you because it's your intention going on to it. And I think that's the most important part about all of it, really. Right. And I, to be honest with you, I do think that it tastes sweet. Oh, yeah. You know, charged water to me is very refreshing. I do. Um, the other thing, so it is summertime here mm -hmm. in the South. Believe it or not, even though it was like 30 something degrees overnight or whatever it was, um, but uh, sun tea, and um, I have made I have made tea um, okay. out on the grid. So mm -hmm. lavender tea or black tea, green tea, um, is another option for charging water and charging tea. Yeah, and just the uh, whole idea of creating something that is obviously specific to you, mm -hmm. and um, there's lots of different ways you can take your water off the grid. We, you can even charge larger amounts. I've uh, found a couple of gallon glass containers. So you don't just have to take a little cup out. Right. You could actually make your water for the entire day and you can make different types. I mean, right. You, I, Beth will have like five or six going at one time. Like she is the <laughs> queen of imprinting. Well, I, I like fancy colored bottles. Yeah. So, you know, I, <laughs> And I just like how I like creating the ceremony of putting the glass out there. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, the, the different colored glasses, the I do have my favorites. And I like, you know, the other thing that's really fascinating to me is when the sun hits the bottle mm -hmm. um, and the reflections and the patterns that it makes. We have some pictures of that on our um on the event you have, page. Yeah, yeah, but you have that on your, um, but check out Beth. I don't know if you have it on your Seamless Living or your Blue Jean Oracle page. I think it's on the Seamless okay. Living uh, Facebook and Instagram. So on, on Facebook, it's Seamless Living NC, and on Instagram, it's Seamless underscore Creativity. Um, but there yeah. are some water imprintings um, on there because it's just so beautiful mm -hmm. uh, to see the reflection in the glass. Yeah. And you can even make grids where I've done this outside recently where you can make a larger grid and you could actually sit in it, sit in it while you're mm -hmm. out in the sun because That's your right. body's water. So why not sit Charge out there and make a little way. grid for yourself exactly. um, while you're out there? And I know Beth has done some stuff for her dogs. Um, and again, we're not adding, we're not putting the crystals in the water because mm -hmm. some crystals you don't want to put in water. And um, I mean, there's, it's, relatively safe if you just have them taped to the outside of the bottle. Or even just touching or even yeah. um, crystals with points, terminated points. Um, you can point them in direction of the water uh, is another way. If they're rounded, soft edge, again, it's back to intentionality mm -hmm. of, you know, you're creating a shape um, 
or putting them right up next to the glass. That is an important thing about not putting crystals in the water. Um, when I first started doing crystal and water work, there are some that you can safely put in. And then I just opted not to put them in because just by association alone, just around or in the form of the grid, it's charging the water. So there's no reason that you need to put it in, in the water. Right. And you can learn more. Um, there's some Dr. Emoto, um, and a lot of you that are watching this may be familiar with his work. He's done a lot of um, research and has some beautiful pictures of water before and after putting various words on the water bottle or um, using prayer and intention. Mm -hmm. and, and he has pictures of water crystals. And so he has a book called True Power of Water, right. I think, that's really good. Mm -hmm. um, Edgar Casey has an older book. It's on the color of, or the power of stones, colors, and crystals. And he gets into detail about, you know, what benefits blue have for the body and what benefits orange have. And so you can look at, I mean, that's so easy. You can go online and pick, print out a, a sheet of paper with a color on it and then place it under your water. Exactly. I mean, it's very, very simple. And so using these easy tools are a great way to just kind of dive in and start playing around. Um, I mean, it's really relatively safe because you're not adding anything to the water. Right. You're just using your intention and prayer and positivity. Um, and, and, and think about the mood when you go into it and what right. you're, the space that you're wanting to create in that. And um, I'll put a link, before we go outside, I'll put a, I just wanted to say, I'm gonna put a link um, or not a link, but a list of the different books that we recommend. But there's some great books on crystals and, yeah, and images of crystal grids that you can mm -hmm. do because really the the gridding is endless the way that you Absolutely. can make them. Absolutely. You can make ways. up your own shapes, mm -hmm. uh, own patterns. You can, you know, attempt a shape, <laughs> so to speak, uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't end up looking like what you thought it was going to look like in the book based on the crystals, but it has its right. own um, energy. And, you know, typically I think my dogs and cat reset the grid um, <laughs> as far as, because they walk through it. They, they're yeah. drawn to walk through the grid and, you know, it all works. Yeah. Oh, and you can also put flowers in your grid. I mean, anything, you right. know, everything in the universe is a vibration or energy. We just interpreted as these uh, as I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier in this dense 3d form and so if there's a flower that you're attracted to if there's an ancestor that you're looking to work yeah, with maybe you can put a picture on the grid mm -hmm. I think that can be really powerful you may want to be careful with the sunlight but you could do that sun, inside yeah. yeah or you know put it in a you can put the photographs in a ziploc bag yeah um, to keep That's them protected idea. from the from the elements because you know here in North Carolina, our weather changes momentarily, so. <laughs> hour by hour, Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So uh, there are some crystals that uh, if the forecast calls for rain, you don't want them outside, yeah. like selenite, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Amber. Um, amber. Um, so, you know, just do your best to do your homework on what you're placing on your grid first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, cool. Well, let's go outside. I'm going to see if I can do this. with. Is, we're in selfie mode right now. I don't think I can turn it around, so I'm going to follow Beth out. Woohoo! Look at this beautiful picture. Woohoo! <laughs> well, it's a nice day out here in North Carolina. Okay, so um, my grid here, it's great. I have this wonderful form. There used to be a uh, jacuzzi tub here. So the circle um, is where I mostly set up my grid. And I'll come over here so you can see the... So underneath I have a Celtic symbol, uh, hold that Celtic here. knot there, and that is a uh, green bottle that was my grandfather's. And so on the grid I have mostly uh, clear quartz and um, some uh, citrine. I have a um, candle quartz on here and then some grounding stones, some earth stones, so some uh, red jasper, and I, I do have some chunks of amber out here. Um, I have pyrite, and so... That's a cool little pyrite pyramid. Yeah. Little pyrite pyramid, and so I have the points going towards the water, so you can see there. Um, and then it's, it's in a clockwise formation as far as the spiral goes, so it comes up and it travels around and it just keeps moving. 
Um, there is a, I had another bottle of tea out here that Carly and I enjoyed uh, before <laughs> we did. So I had another bottle here. So I had this lovely double terminated point. So it was going between the two bottles. And that is simply my grid of the day. Woohoo! And look at her beautiful shirt. She's got a nice DNA spiral and flower. We're working on some ancestral stuff right now. <laughs> so, right. um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments. I'm going to see if I can, I, well, I'm so, so my back in the picture. I'm not as great Hi. as in selfie mode. <laughs> um, but thanks for checking out this video and uh, let us know if there's any other topics. We talk about a lot of different kind of esoteric, metaphysical, but also adding in some science behind it because I think a lot of us are really enjoying that and digging into it. That's so right. we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.